and welcome back to The Femininity Tea. I'm your host, bringing you the hottest, most intriguing topics. Today we're delving into a burning question. Do men really want feminine women? What does that really mean? And oh, we've got a juicy case to dissect, the curious case of Jonathan Majors. Let's dive into the Jonathan Majors and Grace Jabari saga. On December 18th, a Manhattan jury found actor Jonathan Majors guilty on charges of misdemeanor assault and harassment against his ex-girlfriend, Grace Jabari. This verdict emerged from an incident on March 25th, where Majors attacked Jabari in a chauffeured car during the early hours. The altercation reportedly involved Majors hitting Jabari's face, twisting her arm, and causing a fracture in her finger. Sentencing for Majors is set for February 6th, where he faces potential jail time of up to a year for the assault conviction. Throughout the trial, Majors was often accompanied by actress Megan Good, his current girlfriend, and his family members. The defense strategy involved depicting Jabari as the aggressor and dishonest about the events. They argued that Jabari's jealousy and subsequent assault on Majors led to her own injuries, which she falsely attributed to Majors. It's reported things escalated when Jabari confronted Majors about a suggestive text message leading to the alleged physical assault. This isn't just your average celebrity drama. It's a case that flips the script on expectations and stereotypes. Majors described Jabari using terms like aggressor. So it begs the question, why was she his choice? I am not even going to touch the leaked audio he is here urging her to emulate Michelle Obama and Coretta Scott King, two prominent black women. What's the real deal behind men's proclaimed desire for femininity? Now let's spill some tea on this whole femininity debate. We've all heard men say they want a feminine woman, but then we see them with partners who don't fit that typical mold. Is this a case of saying one thing and doing another? Are these men seeking something beyond the traditional definition of femininity? Or are societal pressures shaping their choices? Time to stir the pot a little more. Let's talk about race in relationships. Our black men, especially those in the limelight, often face criticism for their romantic choices, particularly when it involves white women. This conversation is deep, filled with historical context and statistics that both enlighten and challenge our community's perspectives on love and partnership. Major stated, I'm a great man, a great man. I do great things for my culture and for the world. The woman that supports me needs to be a great woman. What exactly personally is he doing for his culture? If he can't be with and marry a black woman, what exactly is the thought process? No hate here, but it is what it is. This discussion is crucial because it's about more than just who's dating who. It's about breaking down stereotypes, understanding the complexities of attraction, and confronting the societal narratives we're either challenging or conforming to. Let me know if you want to dig deeper, but for right now, it's about owning our stories and choices, rooted in black pride and cultural understanding. As we sip this tea, let's reflect. What do these high-profile relationships tell us about our perceptions of femininity, strength, and compatibility? How do race and cultural expectations play into who we choose to love? It's a conversation that's about understanding and owning the diverse ways love and attraction manifest. All right, my lovelies, that's our dose of strong hot tea mixed with some serious food for thought. The Jonathan Majors case isn't just a headline. It's a narrative that forces us to question deeper issues about femininity, race, and the dynamics of relationships. All right now. Thanks for tuning in to the Femininity Tea. Comment, please. Hit that like, share, and subscribe button for more empowering discussions. Until next time.
The Jonathan Majors case isn't just a headline. It's a narrative that forces us to question deeper issues about femininity, race, and the dynamics of relationships. All right now. Thanks for tuning in to the Femininity Tea. Comment please, hit that like, share, and subscribe button for more empowering discussions. Until next time.